What's up everybody? I am Jason and you're watching my channel Micro Investor. The channel where I pretty much just talk about whatever stocks that I want to talk about. And in this video I am going to talk about GameStop. So today January 29th uh, GameStop uh, their stock crashed 27 percent and uh, that is because they actually gave up on trying to find um, someone to buy the company. So GameStop has over 7,000 uh, locations worldwide and tens of thousands of employees. Uh, so this is pretty bad news for GameStop for them realizing that no one actually wants to buy their company. Um, when you think about GameStop, when you think about uh, video games, uh, nowadays people can pretty much buy a game on Amazon, they can have it sent to their house. Uh, there's a lot of mom and pop stores like pawn shops and stuff like that where you can go buy a used game for for very cheap. There isn't um, for like GameStop they have to make a profit, right? So it's really hard for them to even stay in business in today's world when you can just download a game off the PlayStation Store or or you know on the Nintendo Switch. You can download a game uh, and you can have it right there, and it always remembers you. You don't have to worry about losing the disc or breaking it or whatever. You always have access to it um, as you always own that account. So pretty much for me, I can make an assumption on what is gonna happen with GameStop. No one wants to buy the company, they wanna get rid of the company. Uh, it's obvious that uh, the video games nowadays are moving further and further away from uh, being on disc and having something to sell. And a lot of the older generation consoles like you know, like the original Nintendo and all that, they have been re-released -re um, for the nostalgic reasons and people don't need to blow in their consoles anymore uh, to get them to work. Uh, nowadays, everything kind of just works. You can buy a PlayStation uh, 1 with all the games on it that you pretty much used to play when you were a kid. And that's just how things are. Um, so with technology, uh, there isn't really a need for uh, GameStop to be in business. And I understand that people don't agree with what I just said, but I do own a PlayStation. I do know pretty much any game I want, I can just download it. I'm sorry, but that's honestly what you can do. So the biggest thing that GameStop had going for itself, in my opinion, was uh, Game Informer. And a uh, little thing about Game Informer and GameStop is that GameStop used to actually be owned by Barnes & Noble, believe it or not. And back in 2002, uh, Barnes Noble took GameStop public. And back then, they their uh, IPO was at $18 a share. Today, it's at $11.28 a share. But back on November 6, in 2015, they were trading at over $46 a share. And November 6 was pretty much the downward spiral after that. Uh, the stock never really looked back at a higher price. Um, and that's kind of the rise and fall of GameStop, pretty much, of where we're at today. So not to make this video too long, I'm just going to leave it right here. Um, if you are new here, I do talk about uh, stock market investing. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you can actually subscribe right here. All right, thank you for watching.